Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see what your energy is. I am going to pull from the Intuit Tarot deck to see what comes out. Also, uh, please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts if you rock with me, got my six, me to have my back, whoa, because I have yours. Now, this is going to be a, yeah, you're taking action in regards to feeling unsure about walking away from a person and ending a situation or at some point, yeah, you have awareness and clarity um, and the realization is that you need to stop being indecisive and having self-doubt and um, unwilling to learn about the karmic lessons and uh, stop talking to yourself negative or having negative self-talk because it's time. And so the action of movement, it's time to move forward, a narrow escape, um, no action or movement. And it says awareness or insight, having clarity. So we have the four swords, the judgment, the tower energy, and the ace of swords, and also the eight of cups energy. You are contemplating moving forward, but you're unsure of if this will cause balance for you if you move forward and let this other situation go. So, you know, again, you have to make the decisions to a cup based on unhealthy attachments i'm not making this up you have to make a decision based upon unhealthy attachments because again it says rescuing caretaking enabling clinging seeking approval and codependency you've been codependent on this energy for way too long we don't have any pinnacle cards out yet yeah three of wands energy and you need to manifest your dreams and go after the things that you want real love uh, real businesses, you know, having big developments and travel for pleasure, work or love, leveling up and progressing and moving forward. But at some point, you reach the plateau four of cups and it says self serving, uh, I don't know, I can't see self serving disinterest, uh, missed opportunities. Yeah, you've had a lot of missed opportunities. And that's the reason why you contemplate letting go because you know that it's an unhealthy attachment, but also you're not sure if, yeah, two of cups, yeah. Yeah, this is, you're not sure if there's going to be some type of, um, this is this is uh, decisions made, but you're not sure if there's going to be some type of reward if you walk away from the things that no longer serve you. So the two of cups or two of coins energy, two years, you've been trying to make the decision of walking away or not dealing with the situation because of the unhealthy attachments. And, you know, um, this has caused you stagnation because you haven't been able to manifest your dreams because the negativity around everything else is causing, yeah, uh-huh. Okay. So we have the seven of swords straight, straighten the record and self-absorb. You've been dealing with a self-absorbed person and you've been paralyzed by fear instead of, um, uh, and feeling powerless. Uh, but instead of you going within, and this is why you're going to start going within, you know, and master what it is, because if the hermit was in the upright, it would be you going within for spiritual mastery or insight. But what it is, is in the reverse, and that's paralyzing you by fear. The Seven of Swords energy in the reverse is getting caught, confessions, remorse, unworkable strategies, coming clean and pricked conscious. Um, and so you have already, you already know what it is and why you have to do this, but um, you just are afraid to do that based upon, yeah, your guilt and feeling blamed or feeling like, you know, it says karmic avoidance, unfair victimization, um, cancel culture, being shamed and blamed, retribution and imbalance based up on. And this is bad. This is the same thing kind of as imbalance, but you're afraid that you're going to be judged and judgment is here. Justice is here. Consequences of your actions would be if it was in the upright, but it's in the reverse. So, again, you feel like there's going to be some type of remorse or some type of energy that you're going to regret again guilt and blame um if you do walk away like um if i do this you know the balancing act because you're like the scales are balancing um they're not balancing you feel more so blame here and you know that it's worth it here and you're looking at it like if i let this person place thing or unhealthy attachment go is somebody else going to come and take it from me no if it was meant for you, you would have it. And that doesn't mean that it won't come back. It just means that you're setting boundaries right now at this time because you have clarity that this is uh, uh, you're needing to step it up in your life and not necessarily when it comes to, you know, it being healthy. It's unhealthy.
if that makes sense. So with that being said, you had to evolve. And evolving when it comes to dealing with certain characteristics and certain traits, which right after this, I'm going to pull from the archetype and traits of love deck to see if this was in regards to love or just you evolving in regards to a situation. The energy comes back as a trailblazer and in the reverse, um, spirituality. So it says becoming, well, the trailblazer says you're meant to be a trailblazer here here to tra to blaze a trail for others, you will be the first to do something. So again, walking away uh, from unhealthy attachments to, you know, uh, break generational curses or to do something that somebody else hasn't done in your family would without feeling guilty and shame or blameful for something. But the spirituality is being put to the test because you feel like you're not able to do this. And it says becoming more spiritually aware. The blockages are causing you not to be spiritually aware until you learn to trust in the universe and in within yourself, more spiritually focused and choosing a spiritual path. You haven't chosen a spiritual path, meaning that um, I'm not saying religion. I'm saying how to believe in what you believe in. When we, and if you listen to the four agreements, we're taught, we're taught, what our parents were taught from their parents. We never have a way of making decisions on our own until we get of a certain age and then start blazing our path or becoming a trailblazer and believing in listening to tarot, listening to your intuition, understanding about the universe and, you know, saying that, that you know, trying to do your research on if the world is really flat or is it round you know the things that we learn we have to unlearn to relearn and so this is when your spirituality is put to the test because when you have to step out on faith and not have any balance and have to walk away from the people places and situations that no longer serve you and sometimes those are family you know you need to step up that and it says because you haven't taken the act action or any movement and it causes stagnation and it also causes um, it says dormant abilities and it feels like you you feel restless and burnt out because you haven't found your path and you are so busy worried about the unhealthy attachments and being codependent on the unhealthy attachments that somebody needs your energy in order to move forward. There are people out there that will be happy to have your energy. But again, you can't feel guilty or blame yourself because you have to walk away from certain situations and and, you know, basically you know, uh, without any remorse or any negative feelings or, you know, being paralyzed by fear to move forward and do something and step out on faith, if that makes sense. And so when it comes to dealing with certain people, places and situations, you have LVL, LVL3 consciousness and LVL9 consciousness. And it says you're becoming more sensitive being to begin to ask philosophical questions, start to act on your own values, right? Learning your pathway or your how to trailblaze how to do things on your own the lvl9 consciousness is you transform the people you meet you're able to lead others your strong presence influences others however you have to know the difference between people with unhealthy attachments there are people who want to learn and people who want to judge and ridicule and that are karmic and need to work on themselves but the orion is here so remember justice is here but it says mostly driven by the mind here to learn how to love uh, prone to struggle with relationships and this is the type of people that you've been dealing with people who are prone to struggle in relationships and who make you feel um, guilty and um, blame yourself because of their karmic avoidance of the past and what it is they do victimization they are um, they shame and blame you and they're off they're you know unfair the way they treat you and they're the first ones to be the Karen or, or not to, to want to cancel culture or cancel you because you don't fit the void or you don't feel the way they feel, if that makes sense. And so therefore you feel like you missed a lot of opportunities. You've been unmotivated, depressed and reluctant and weary and dissatisfied and just reaching a plateau based up on self-serving disinterest, you know, and that is unhealthy attachment. So um, I'll pull from the, um, oh, I said I was going to pull from the archetype deck. 
Um, I'll pull from the archetype deck to see what comes out. But again, you have to blaze your own path. You have to end things that no longer serve you and release the unhealthy attachments. And, you know, that's because you haven't taken action because you haven't had people to, yeah, you haven't had people to help motivate you to make you feel confident enough to do that. And there are people out there, but the people you've been dealing with is good on paper. It says, may seem good, but not good in reality. Checks off traditional boxes, settling for good enough. So you are have always settled for what is good enough, but not good for you. Does that make sense? And so here it, here it is. You have to understand that you procrastinate when you deal with love bombers and gold diggers. And, you know, when it comes to people strange coming into to your life, you might not. Um, how do you call it? You might not uh, take action or move towards them or allow them to help because of the fact that the person that you dealt with in the past or the situations you dealt with in the past were good on paper. And that was about it. But you procrastinate. It says partners wait a long time for commitment. You waited for this person, place, thing or situation for a commitment. I got to sorry. I got to cut this heater off. I am sweating. Um, okay. So you wait, uh, it says partners wait a long time for commitment, delays love for as long as they can. They often promise but don't deliver. So that's the type of energy that you've been dealing with when it comes to this person, place, thing, or situation. And also when it comes to love bomber, over the top gestures, takes things too seriously, too early, emotionally manipulation to gain power. I believe this is narcissistic energy. And um, that is how how you uh, deal with somebody. They give, give, give really fast and want to give you everything in the world until they got you. It's like, I got you where I want you. Now I'm going to eat you. That type of energy. The gold digger in relationships for the money, obsessed with status, manipulate others with looks and charm. So this to me is narcissistic energy. No, I'm not a therapist, but I believe that that's the case. You know, when it comes to dealing with the type of people that you're dealing with, you know, and uh, why you feel less than, you know what I mean? And so that's why I say to you, you have to understand that when new love comes in, a stranger, you have to look at it, a new lover, partner, someone you barely know, someone you have yet to meet. When these people come in, this energy can block you from moving forward. And this person has came out in three different reads that I just, uh, I had did previously. So this person coming out, this stranger you are able to meet someone else, but are you going to love bomb it based upon the last uh, um, last person that you dealt with? Does that make sense? Um, and that manipulated you and made you feel some kind of way. So now I'm going to pull from the situation deck because of the fact that you need to know the situations that you were dealing with. And again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But again, that doesn't mean that this is your situation. It means that if this sounds familiar or it sounds like something you resonate with, take the parts that resonate and leave the rest that doesn't. But yeah, a meeting, you're going to meet somebody and you're going to be contemplating meeting someone and that someone could be the one that helps you move forward and a vacation hideaway or an adventure. They want to take you on an adventure or the person that is the narcissistic energy and the one who wants all of this that causes stagnation or procrastination that has the unhealthy attachments is going to when they realize that you're moving forward or moving towards something else, um, they're good on paper is not enough for you anymore. And they're going to love bomb you with wanting to meet. And you're unsure about this meeting and the escapade that they want to take you away on because that's going to mess up this new love. And uh, basically, Archangel Michael shows his face prevented from harm, divine intervention and protection. Uh, they only can protect you as much as you allow the archangels to protect you because, again, you know that angel and devil on your shoulder? Well, you know, what looks good, that devil is always the one who keeps you coming back. And so those are the unhealthy attachments that you rescue, you take care of, that enable, you enable, and that clings to you when they feel like they're losing you. Narcissistic behavior, totally. And so, no, I'm not a therapist, but that will jeopardize this person. So, again, the self-absorbed self hermit energy, you know, it's like 
you know, it causes you paranoia because when you have to make these decisions to end things, you are going to feel powerless and you're going to also feel like you're being antisocial because you have to cut off everybody and everything when it comes to dealing with this narcissistic energy. And it's going to be hard. You're going to feel like, you know, um, everything is falling apart before it puts together. And then when that meeting happens, then you're going to be the one to be like, oh, should I stay or should I go? Should I be a part of this? You know, all of these different things you're going to be contemplating and you have to be the one to make the decisions on if this is something that you want, if that makes sense. And so as hard as it is, that's something that um, nobody can make for you. And this, I think this is the karmic twin flame. Yeah. Karmic twin flame soulmate um, deck and see what comes out because again, it's easy as it is, yeah, an awakening. You have to have this awakening. It says your twin, and they have to have it too. So if this is somebody that's coming back around, your twin is awakening to your connection, and they, they're ready to put in the work to manifest a reunion in the 3D world. Expect some progress. So you got to realize is if this offer that's happening to you is going to be uh, – um, just to keep you around or is it going to be something that's actually happening and then easy breezy it says no relationship is easy but shouldn't be a war either you will work together and make room for improvements in your connection or you will have to walk away and then somebody else will come in so this could be old energy or it could be new energy you take what resonates but I'm going to pull from my card deck um, just a card deck that I made like three years ago and um, yeah I love this is in regards to love and manipulation, bam. I can't make it up. It's love and manipulation. So, again, this person is going to manipulate you when it comes to love because they know that you love them. So, um, yeah, it's an unhealthy attachment um, that you're going to have to det determine what it is that you want to do out of the situation because, again, this person knows how to trigger you. Um, let me see. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I should pull from. I'm going to pull from the karmic male. This could be somebody with heavy male energy in their um, charts. But um, the karmic male is by your inner chakras. Uh, this was made in 2021. Let me see the type of karmic energy you were dealing with. Because I, yeah, I already did the, um, yeah, giving false hope. So this is the type of energy that this person is. And they're also paranoid that they might lose you or you're paranoid um, about moving forward with them. So again, this person, this narcissist always gives you false hope. And so, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let this energy go. Um, I'll pull from the four agreements. If you want to know my perspective on the four agreements, you can click the link up above. And also for the chakras, uh, the link will be up above. But yeah, this is something that you have to realize what unhealthy attachments are. And basically, it's them giving you false hope. Don't make assumptions and ask for what you want and be impeccable with your words. Create a beautiful dream. Say what you want and mean what you say. Potential is not enough anymore, even if they're good on paper and you know that in reality, they're not good. In, in the 3D, there's a reason why you have to walk away. Ask for what you want. It says, find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask likewise. Everybody has the right to ask uh, you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. So, again, you with this offer, the false vacations, the escapades, you have the right to say yes or no. And it looks like leaning towards no because you've already reached a plateau when it came to this situation. And Again, make room for a stranger. That's what I kind of see. Be impeccable with your words. Create a dream. Create a beautiful dream. Your word can create the most beautiful dream, and your word can, can destroy everything around you. Impeccability of the word only creates beauty, love, and heaven on earth. So, again, say what you want, mean what you say. If you're going to have a meeting, you have to say exactly why and get it out. Get it out there on why you're not willing to move forward or why you are willing to move forward, but it all comes with boundaries. Let me pull from this card deck, which is the Cozy Witch uh, deck, to see what comes out. The card that three, two cards came out. Yeah, the threes came out, and what's at the bottom of the deck? The Eight of Swords. Mm -hmm. 
anxiety. So stop overthinking and just do it. Just do it. Just say it. Be impeccable with your words. Um, and it says the three of wands energy. Put yourself out there and you'll be rewarded one way or another. So maybe with the stranger, like I said, and the three of pen pentacles, what's the saying? Teamwork makes makes the spell work. So, um, you know, de depending on who you have around you, it needs it might not be the right team. And so that's the unhealthy attachments until you find someone else who's going to complete you and not deplete you then you need to start uh, really looking at the people that are around you and causing you to overthink, uh, right? Um, so here's the crystal deck. Oh, look at all the cards that came out. We have all the chakras. Again, click the link above. Um, we have the violet sapphire and the rainbow moonstone. The violet sapphire is the crown and third, third eye chakra, spirituality, prosperity, and intuition. And then it says... I am filled with universal truth and wisdom. I am filled with universal truth and wisdom. The next one is the rainbow moonstone, all chakras, emotional balance, intuition, and serenity. Emotional balance, intuition, and serenity. I am balanced and in tune with my emotions. I am balanced and in tune with my emotions. So, again, you have to be able to take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Take the pieces that resonate and leave the ones that don't. But you have to be in charge of um, needing to step up in your own life and also understanding the difference between unhealthy attachments, no movement or actions, and also, um, you know, straightening the record. And that's by you saying what it is that you need to say because no relationship is easy breezy. But when it comes to self-serving disinterest, missed opportunities, being bored, dissatisfied, depression, reluctant, weary, and unmotivated. You have to ask yourself why, and that's where you need to come in. Um, actually, there's three threes out here, three of pentacles, three, both three of wands. So the threes represent creativity, and you have to realize what's causing you stagnation, manifesting big developments, uh, travel and pleasure, work or love, and leveling up and progress. You need progress in your life. And again, you got to find the people who complete you and not deplete you. So that's just kind of how I see that. Now, let's let go of this old energy. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational, generational curses. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> let me start over. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, and bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I know it's been a while, and I'll be back. So three times a day, um, 5 a.m., 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, all of them, and 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I will be back. All right, I love you guys.